Hello, this is Heidi from Digitals and Craft by HM. Welcome to my channel. Here's Christmas DIY. These are a couple of canvas that I had purchased at a Goodwill about a year ago. Even though they're pretty as is, but no longer match with my decor. So I decided to upcycle them for a Christmas decor. Hoy les traigo una decoración de Christmas. Estas son unas canvas que yo compré hace unos años atrás en un Google. Y aunque todavía están muy bonitas, ya no me quedan con mi decoración. So decidí hacer algo con ellas para la decoración que tengo ahora de Christmas. Ya les saqué esta parte. La pinté de blanco en la parte de adentro y la parte de afuera. Porque así es que se ve la parte de atrás. I took it apart and painted it in the inside and outside area. Tenía pensado en poner un background, no quiero este fondo, pintarlo, porque esta parte, aunque es blanca, aunque lo voy a pintar de blanco, es muy opaco, no sé, no, no me gusta. I went ahead and painted my canvas using my Waverly Shalk white paint. I gave it only one coat. Pues ya pinté mi canvas usando mi pintura acrílica blanca. Ahora le vamos a dar otros pequeños trozos para crear un efecto de madera. Painted to give it a ship like look. That we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using a dry brush and my um, acrylic paint. I'm going to put only a few drops. Vamos a usar una brocha seca y solamente unas gotitas nada más. Now we're going to go ahead a napkin to get most of it out. Vamos a usar una servilleta. And now we're going to go ahead and give it a couple of strokes. That's all I'm doing. Vamos a darle unos pequeños trozos. De la misma dirección donde hicimos la blanca, okay? Same direction where we did our white paint, okay? So just a few strokes. And that's it. See, I only did like what? Three, four? That's pretty much it. Look how nice it looks. Okay. There you go. That's it. We're going to let this dry. Eso fue todo. Solamente le di varias, como vieron, varias um, veces. Y mira cómo quedó. Ahora lo vamos a dejar secar. Esto seca en menos de que de, de tres minutos porque son, es bien poco. pequeño tip. Pongo mi pintura mi, para que, si la voy a usar otra vez, pongo mi pintura dentro de una bolsa para que no se seque completamente la brocha. A tip that I do, I put my brush in here if I'm going to use it um, a few times today and that way I don't have to constantly be washing my brush or and it keeps it um, moist but it doesn't dry the whole paint together. Okay? Okay, ahora voy a Pegar mi canvas. I'm gonna go ahead and use my glue gun to um, glue my back in. So we're gonna go ahead and start in the center so um, everything goes, because once you, you glue this, you won't be able to get it back out. So I started on the center, and that way it's, it's at the same edge. Empiezo en el centro and work my way out. Y camino hasta afuera. I'm gonna about to do the second one and okay um, these are the items that I'm gonna be using I 
purchased these at Dollar Tree. Materiales que usé. Este lo conseguí en el Dollar Tree. Y vamos a estar usando uno de estos. Also, you find them in Dollar Tree. So, I'm going to be using one of these. These, you could purchase them at Dollar General. Este lo consigues en Dollar General y te sale mejor comprarlo en Dollar General porque vienen 12. So, I'm going to be using one of these. This one's also you could find at Dollar Tree. Este también lo consigues en Dollar Tree. Viene un paquetito de cuatro. This one also um, is a pack. Joy, Believe, and Peace. Es un paquete de tres que trae, trae estas dos y la que ya puse en mi cuadro. I'm also going to be using these two. I bought these at um, Walmart from another project that I was doing and I have. I always save them to use them for small projects like this. Estas las conseguí yo creo en Walmart y me sobraron de otro proyecto que hice. Un, pe un pedacito de soga, we're going to use a small twine, the small one, just a little piece, just to attach this to hang it. We're also going to be using some ribbon. I purchased this one at Hobby Lobby. It was 50% off, so it only cost me $5. Esta yo la compré en Javi Lobby. La compré cuando estaba a 50% de descuento y solamente me costó 5 dólares. Y la verdad, vale la pena porque te funciona para bastante. Tiene mucho material aquí para tú usar para varios a un trabajo. Some rope. Hang it. Also these little ones. These ones are actually, I also purchased them in Javi Lobby. But they were also 50% off and I only pay a dollar for them. And what I did was, I don't know if you can see, what I did was I made sure that they were like this, like one is taller than the other one. Las vamos a usar así, piqué dos pedacitos y asegurándote de que tienes una más alta que la otra. Esta la conseguí en Javi Lobby a mitad de precio y la consigues por un dólar. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and um, put my piece uh, wording in. But I want to make sure, I want to check where I actually want it. Primero vamos a poner esto, pero vamos a averiguar a dónde que más o menos la quiero. Make sure it's completely straight. Para, es, para pegar esto, voy a ponerle un poquito de E6000 porque la hot glue, when it, touches, when it touches the metal, it dries really quick. Cuando la pega caliente, toca lo metal, se seca demasiado de rápido. So lo que voy a hacer es que voy a echarle primero de esto. En las áreas más gruesas, I'm going to put a little bit in the thicker areas. And then with a little drop of the glue gun on the center, I'm just going to go ahead and put it right there um, so it stays. And I'm only going to put a drop of the of the um, glue gun right at the center. Solamente lo voy a poner un poquito nada más aquí. Once we have that one done, we're just gonna go ahead now and attach the rope. And I want this to be like this, so kind of like hanging. We're just going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue right here. Vamos a ponerle un poquito de pega caliente aquí. Okay? That's where I want it. Right at the center. Put some glue. Hold it down to dry. Ponemos la pega y aguantamos hasta que seque. So this won't keep going from side to side. What I did was I put also a dot, a little bit. I también puse aquí un, un poquitito nada más. Te pega, caliente. So that I could hold that there. So I could hold it in place. That way it's not going sideways, you know, like moving around. After you finish gluing this, you're gonna go ahead and cut the extra. Vamos a cortar el, lo que queda 
extra que no necesitamos. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and take this. And we're just going to make like a some type of bowl, some type, not really a bowl, but it's just around and like that. Okay. And we're going to make it as flat as we can so it won't be as bulky when we add the rest of the stuff, okay? Hold it down. With our um, ribbon, we're gonna go ahead without cutting I, I always do that mistake and I learned my, my lesson. Without cutting, sin cortar, le vamos a hacer un nudo. Solamente un nudo, más o menos. No la corten, solamente hacen el nudo. That way you know exactly the size you want. Así saben exactamente qué, cuánto necesitas y no malgastan este, the ribbon. You don't, throw, you don't throw it away. Okay, so this is about what I want. Now I can go ahead and cut. This has a wire, so I don't use my good scissors for the for the wire part. I cut both wires first. Then I go ahead and use my good scissors for the rest. Esto tiene um, alambre, so por eso es que corto las esquinas primero. Y ya luego corto el resto con la mejor, corto el resto con la mejor, con la, con las tijeras buenas. Okay. The edges, we're going to go ahead. Also cut the edges. Put them together. And cut. Same to the other side. Put them together. Fold. And you're going to cut on the fold part. Now we're going to go ahead and glue that in there. I'm going to go ahead and glue it right at the center. Put some glue. Put it in there. One second, wait until it dries. Okay. Now this part, this part, we're gonna put it right here in the bottom part. Okay. Try to flatten this part as much as you can. There's some wire in here. Aquí hay unos alambre. Yo se los corté. Trata de poner esto lo más plano que pueda, as flat as you can to uh, when you when you glue it into your um, lantern, it stays put where you want it. Okay. Okay, now I cut the ends a little bit on this ones. Now we're gonna attach these two first. We're gonna go ahead and put these right here. Okay, we're gonna put that one first. Then we're gonna add these. And then last, we're gonna put our pine cone, okay? All right. Vamos primeramente la averigua donde la quiere. Primero, Te asomas a ver donde, donde te guste. See where you like it. Okay, so I like that there. Okay. So this is how it looks. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the rope. But because of my camp, my the, the canvas that I'm using is on the heavy side. After I glue it, 
with the glue gun, I'm going to put a staple on it. La canvas mío es un poquito pesado. Aparte de usar la pega caliente, yo le voy a usar unos staples. Ok. So, lo vamos a hacer a la parte de arriba. Ok. Ok. Primeramente, lo que voy a hacer es pegarlo con la glue gun para que se aguante donde, que lo, donde lo quiero. First, I'm going to glue it with the glue gun. That way it stays in place while I staple it. I have my stapler, so this is what I'm going to use. And that's it, guys. I hope you like this video. And hope you guys like it. I'm loving them. After I put them in um, my little spot, I think I'm going to put them on my, one of my bathrooms. So, les enseño más o menos cómo terminaron donde los voy a poner bien. Creo que los voy a poner en uno de los baños. No estoy segura todavía. But I love them. They came out really pretty. Okay, bye-bye.